Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Chloe and this is my channel. <laughs> so if you may not know, I have literally just finished my third year at Falmouth University and throughout May the university is offering some workshops. They are completely free to sign up to and they're within different departments so you can learn lots of new skills. I have signed up to a couple in like the textiles and like on Falmouth campus so if you might not be aware I'm a photographer. This is the first time I've done the workshop festival. I um, I know that they used to run it and I've because of Covid and everything, I'm not too sure what's going on with it all. But the university do offer uh, workshop Wednesdays. These go on throughout the year, but usually like at the end of the term, they do like a big festival thing where like if you haven't had the chance to sign up to them, there's other opportunities. So I have two this morning. I have a jewellery making one and a heat transfer one. I'm really, really looking forward to it all. And I'm going to take you along with me. I'm just going to show you guys what I get up to because I think this is an amazing opportunity to grow your skills um, and it's free. So what more could you want? It's like raining right now. It was really bad literally a minute ago and I'm just trying to wait for like the rain to calm down a little bit before I get out my car because I don't want to get soaking wet. This is the first thing I've made. It's uh, a little fidget ring. Um, the focus of the camera is gonna be a bit. I'm super, super happy with it. A little big for my finger, but it does exactly what I designed it to do and I'm really impressed with it actually. And um, we basically like were welding it and everything. Um, so I'm gonna leave that in my car so I don't lose it. Next one's heat transfer. It says that we have to have polyester based items. The thing is, I don't have many things that have polyester in them and neither does Asda. Um, so I bought two cotton t-shirts. One of them is like uh, an XXL the white one so it's gonna be huge but I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to use these because they're cotton we find out in 10 minutes time um, but I did I did manage to find some pillowcases so I might give something a go on a pillowcase we'll see they're 52% polyester but yeah I'm really enjoying it t-shirt I, uh, that I made. I put like a little sun on it with a little C and then on the back is like the leaves and stuff. Um, so yeah this is like a huge t-shirt because Asda only had double XL and 5XL white t-shirts so this is the situation. I also made some coasters. This one is the better one but it's still a bit plain. I wish I put more flowers on it. Um, but this one, <laughs> this one's so bad. It looks like a seven year old did it. Ours didn't line up at all with where I wanted them to be, which is kind of sad. Um, it looks, it looks so bad. I also did start doing like a pillowcase as well. It looks so much better on camera than it does in person. And if I had more time, I would have put some more flowers on it, but then I wouldn't have made this t-shirt, so. And then obviously I have the uh, the ring I made this morning. I already made my thumb start to go green, so I don't think I'll be uh, wearing this very much. But um, it is fun to play with. I do like it, it's pretty fun. And <laughs> it looks really, really good. Yeah, I will see you guys in the morning when I do the lampshade workshop. Okay, so I'm up at campus, gonna be making a lampshade. Got myself a Mackey's breakfast and they finally brought back hot chocolate because for ages it was out of stock. This workshop's supposed to take all day, but um, 
yeah i'm just gonna take it as it comes i'm really excited for this workshop this was the first one i signed up to because like i knew that there wasn't many places and this one like goes really quick i've not even thought about what i'm actually gonna put on but the your own print you put it on fabric and yeah so i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do i might do some photos an update on the workshop so basically um only four people out of 12 turned up um which was probably quite annoying for the lady running the workshop however it meant that i got to make two lampshades i was able to put one of my prints on the lampshade and they look so cool they look really neat as well and i just i love it it's amazing like even where like the seam lines up so tomorrow i'm doing screen printing the pillowcase that I was working on, I'm going to continue working on that. I'm going to take a pair of jeans that I ripped the other day and I also got a top as well. percent recommend doing a load of workshops if you get the chance to usually the only things that you have to provide for these workshops are things that you want to print on like t-shirts etc screen printing was hands down my favorite one i did genuinely spend all day doing it and i didn't even get to do my pillowcase which i thought i was going to carry on with i'm going to show you guys some of the things that i did so this is the first print that i did it's like a practice print and I really really love this. I might buy a tote bag and then like stitch this on the front because I think it looks really cool. One of my favourite things I did was this t-shirt. I screen printed some flowers on the back. It just it looks so cool and the colour is amazing. I can't wait to wash it and wear it. So basically what she said was once you've done the dye on top you need to iron it. means that it won't come off in the wash so that's what I've done. I've ironed it so it just needs a wash just to double check that it's all good. I then made some tea towels. This one's a little bit neater. I quite like the little corner situation going on. This is the same design that was on the back of the t-shirt so I just kind of like transferred it across. I made this green tote bag. I love a tote bag. I use tote bags all the time. There's another tea towel going on here. So these are the jeans that I ripped. I put a little flower on the pocket on the back and then I kind of went a bit crazy with the front. It didn't go to plan. They look a bit messy. There is a couple flowers that worked, like the flowers up here. And there's a couple on the leg, but there's a couple that just didn't work out very well. Um, so I didn't iron all of them. I only ironed the ones that I want to keep and hopefully the other ones will wash out a bit. But these are my jeans that have a hole in them. Um, the hole is like right here. I squat it down and I split them. But what I'm thinking of doing is, is making these my jeans that I kind of do messy things in. So if I'm painting or, you know, decorating or plan on doing screen printing again, that kind of thing, I can just kind of wear these jeans and it doesn't really matter if they get lots of paint and stuff on them. 
Um, but I just thought I'd jazz them up with some uh, some screen printing. So that's everything I did in the workshops. And I just loved every minute of it. I wish I could have signed up to more, but I went home for a couple of days. If you're watching this and you're still going to be a Falmouth student in the next year, or however many years, or if you're coming to Falmouth, I definitely would recommend trying to sign up to as many workshops as you can because you get to use the facilities of other departments. I absolutely love textiles. I really loved it in school and this is like just cemented like me wanting to do textiles more often and also screen printing as well. And I did actually go away and buy my own silk screen. I wanna do some of my own prints and I wanna print on some more tote bags, maybe sell them on my Etsy um, or on my new website. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. I really hope you found it useful. Um, so if you are a Falmouth student, make sure you use the most of the facilities and all the resources that the uni has to offer because I'm kind of regretting not making the most of it now. Before I end this video, before I end this video, make sure you like it and also subscribe. Um, I know I'm not going to be making much more uni content, but I hopefully I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully going to have some other projects that I'm going to, you know, do. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully my life doesn't turn into a misery when I leave uni. <laughs> So I'm just enjoying Falmouth until I have to go home and work, really. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for your support. And I also just want to say good luck to everyone that's getting their results and everyone that's still sitting in exams. I wish you all the best of luck. My fingers and toes are crossed for you all. <laughs> so yeah, thank you again and have a good week. Bye.